Right, on to our weekly feature, Smart Farm. And farmers in Machakos County are now turning to sustainable agriculture practices to manage and eradicate fall army worms infestation. Now, the measures include biological controls as well as proper scouting and monitoring of farms. Dennis Ochino tells us more on this week's Smart Farm. Smart Farm, brought to you by Equity. Need to purchase farm inputs like certified seeds, fertilizers or insecticides and are low on cash? Get a financial boost from Equity. Dial star 247 hash, use Equity mobile app, your Equity line or visit any Equity branch to apply and get a loan today. A bumper harvest awaits Joseph Mutota at his farm in Maikua village at Kitangaini location in Masi, Machakos County. Mimi ulima maindi na bahasi. Na wakati huu, mukiangalia vile maindi iko, imekuwa mzuri kuliko mfuwa ile ingine. Sababu, wadutu wakati huu, hawakufamia hii maindi sana. Mutuota says he is at peace after embracing sustainable agricultural practices to combat the dreaded fall armyworm, which has been a menace here for quite some time. Mutuota is among a few farmers who have benefited from an initiative spearheaded by research organization Calro to empower farmers through the integrated management of fall armyworm in dealing with the invasive pests. So to be able to help the farmers, is now we're using biological controls. We have parasitoids that we put in the farms. They're just small little cards, and then they, they uh, emit uh, pheromone. Some of them are the pheromones, others are the, actually the parasitoids that then go in and destroy the eggs and reduce the incidences of all amiwa. So if we can reduce that incidence down to um, 10, 20 percent, that will be something. Kulingana na maindi huwa tunapanda DK, ile ya huku kambani, tunaita kikamba. Hii inafanya mzuri sana. Ispokuwa, ukiangalia inazaa moja moja, lakini ni kubwa kuliko zile zingine. In addition to the biological controls and planting of resistant varieties, farmers have also received training on other key practices. They include early detection, which entails regular scouting of fields to help identify any signs of fall armyworm infestation before it spreads. Uh, we have trained them on uh, early land preparation. We have worked on uh, soils. Uh, you know, the thinking that uh, you always have to apply fertilizer, we have to bring in the information of testing the soils Experts say the main goal is to eventually eliminate the use of harmful chemical pesticides when dealing with the fall armyworms. When the project started in 2020, we, we took interviews from uh, Machakos, Ketui, Makueni, Taita Taveta and Kilivi. And uh, farmers were using five to seven sprays in a season. And even when they use five to seven sprays, they were still saying there are no effects. So they were just in desperate. The desperation was massive. Yeah. So the pesticide use has really dropped down. Cultural practices like crop rotation and intercropping have also come in handy for farmers here. Awali tulikuwa tunapata gunia kama kumi na bili, kumi, nane hivi, kulingana na vile tumepanda. Lakini sana sana, sio wakulima wengi ufuata maagiso ya agriculture. They're used to it. They're used to losses. So when we create capacity, a farmer is aware that I don't have to lose. I don't really have to lose this. That there's some management. The fall armyworm was first reported in Kenya in 2017. Its spread has been devastating, causing up to 100% year losses. Farmers are optimistic that the alternative measures will keep the pest at bay. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm. Smart Farm, brought to you by Equity.
Low on cash to purchase farm inputs such as certified seeds, fertilizers or insecticides? Get a financial boost from equity to endeleza your farming business. Simply dial star 247 hash, use equity mobile app, your equity line or visit any equity branch to apply and get a loan today.